Hey YouTube, in the shop here today. We got the motor yanked out of the M50. It's a 2006 Suzuki M50. As one I had mentioned uh, previous, I think it was my last update video. We got this thing apart and I'll tell you what, it was kind of a nightmare. Uh, most of the work was done by my dad. It, uh, he's the one that purchased this bike. So uh, he, he's the one that took the motor out. I did help a bit. No, excuse me for that. And we found out there's a few things on here. If you're taking the motors out of these things, you need to do before you get them out. So we did find out that one problem you're going to run into is your drive shaft. So that tube, the drive shaft tube is actually fixed to the uh, swing arm. So in order to get that out, the only way we could figure out to get it out is you needed to pull the drive shaft, which required us to pull the back wheel. And then there's a U-joint that sits inside of that. And you actually have to pull the motor forward in order to get um, an Allen wrench or anything like that in there. Unless you've got like some really low profile Allen wrenches, you're not going to get in there with a standard Allen wrench or uh, Allen bits and uh, a ratchet. So you definitely have to pull the motor forward. Now this is um, a two piece frame here. So you can take off a piece of the frame and, be able to get that motor out. Just make sure you loosen up the front mounts and then you can pull the motor forward. That allows you to get in there. I just wanted to let anybody know who's doing this is that's one of the problems that we encountered on this bike. So just for those out there who are looking to take one of these apart, now you know. Now we'll go over here and we'll cover the motor real quick and I'll go into some more detail about this project. So when we got this, it had piston slap and I ran it, which I can post the run video and um, this is just going to be a, a little series here about building this and rebuilding it and, and doing whatever here so when i ran it the other day i ran it in an idle and it locked up and it locked up tight you can't move the engine at all so i'm afraid to see what's inside this but we did it was purchased had piston slap so we knew something was loose it could have been the wrist pin it could, it could be the 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 main bearing, or not the main bearing, but the uh, rod bearing, something. But we're going to tear this part and see. But what we did find when we opened this up, the oil is really, really black. It's very burnt, so I think the engine got hot. Uh, my dad thinks so as well. So we're going to tear this apart, and I will get some more video about tearing this apart. This is just kind of an introduction video to um, what we wanted to do with it. So... I just wanted to tell everybody, thank you for stopping by. We're going to do some more video on this. This is just my introduction to the series. And we're going to start tearing this apart today and get everything bagged and tagged. And I'll give you some tips and what tools you're going to need for all this. And we're just, we're going to learn as we go. So uh, thanks for stopping by and just watch this series here. We should be working on this for the next week or so. Hopefully I'll get a video a day, maybe uploaded. So anyway, thanks.